When regular rewards just aren't enough, go for great rewards. Sometimes when you scan your base system, encounters with the title Great Reward will show up. Some of them are harder and take longer than regular encounters, but some of them are quite fast and easy. In this guide I will show you what's what. If you are looking for a specific Great Reward encounter, you can use the timestamps in the description. Oh, and one last thing before I begin. In order to cram in as much info in a short time period, I sped up the game speed to prevent my videos from becoming too long. So no, I'm not cheating in this game, it's just the wonders of editing. The first encounter is called Terminal of Power. Here you have to escort an infected drone to an infected database. If your infected drone dies, you will fail the mission. Like all escort missions, you could equip a shield projector to heal your escort. On your way to the database, several AI ships will attack. Once you arrive, your drone will start up a self-destruct sequence. When I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, I gotta get out of here. But luckily, the drone only destroys the other drones and the infected database. And he does not harm you. Mission complete. Next up, the anti-smuggling encounter. In this encounter, you have to destroy a smuggler's port. As soon as you start shooting the port, the smugglers will tell you that they don't like it. They will send guard ships to come and shoot at you. Sometimes a freighter will try to escape from the port. Take it down before it escapes to get the full reward from this encounter. And that's all there is to it. A nice, fast, easy encounter. On to the next one. This one is called Hazardous Materials. Here a fleet of freighters will travel from one port to another on what seems to be a conveyor belt. Your task is to destroy them all. Do this before they reach the end of the conveyor belt. Not a single one can escape. Not even the ones that don't have freighter in their name. Because that will fail your mission. You will notice that there are several types of ships in the enemy fleet. I recommend you kill the log logistic ships first, because they can heal the others. After that, take out the guard ships, because they have higher firepower. And lastly, take out the rest of the freighters. A ship with a super device that can do AoE damage will be helpful here. On the escape track there are several ring structures. These are launcher facilities that will speed up the fleet once they have activated it. Take these out as soon as you can target them, because this encounter will become near impossible if you leave them intact. If you manage to kill them before they reach the end of the track, you win. Great rewards. Yay! In the next encounter, you will have to deal with freighters again. But this time not to kill them, but to capture them for Special Agent Hammer. Agent Hammer tells you the freighters contain illegal substances and he wants to confiscate them to protect the people. 
he warns you not to kill any of the freighters. But don't worry, you can't kill them even if you wanted to, because the game won't let you. You can only interact with them to capture them. After you start to interact with the first freighter, some enemies will show up. These you can kill. Actually, you have to kill them to proceed the encounter. Because during combat you can't interact with the freighters anymore. After you kill them, interact with the first freighter once more. This will capture it and more enemies will show up. After you dispose of them, you can capture the last two freighters, which makes a special agent hammer very happy. And he will fly off to go and uh, deal with the illegal substances. Finally, the police will show up. And it turns out special agent hammer isn't a police agent at all, but just some hacker who wanted to ship loads of substances all for himself. Whoops. You still get your great reward. So it's all good, man. The next encounter is called Intruders. In this encounter, you warp into a battlefield where you have to fight off wave after wave of Covenant fighters. Well, four waves to be exact. And after the second wave, you will also have to protect the fleet officer. If you try this encounter on a higher difficulty, you might want to equip a shield projector to heal up the officer. Because if he dies before you take out all the enemies, you will fail the encounter and get nothing. After all four waves are destroyed and the officer is successfully protected, you will get your great reward. Nice and easy. In the next encounter, you will have to steal some classified files from a secret Covenant experiment base. As soon as you get close, an experimental test ship will show up and it starts to attack you. It turns out this is the secret the Covenant has been hiding. You have to take out the test ship in order to complete this encounter. The test ship is very strong, however. Furthermore, it will fly from one blast tower to the next in order to heal itself. Unless you have massive firepower on your ship, you will have to take out each blast tower as soon as possible in order to prevent the test ship from healing up again. If your ship has enough firepower, you could take down the test ship before it reaches all towers. But if you can't, don't be discouraged. Because at some point all blast towers will be gone and the test ship can't heal anymore. When you destroy it, you will get your great reward. In the last encounter I want to show you in this guide, you will have to rescue some workers who refuse to work for the Tyrannus family because of their poor living conditions. The Tyrannus family don't take kindly to these protesters and are on their way to kill them. It's your task to protect them. After you kill the first wave of enemies, a new wave will show up. It is possible to heal the dormitory sh shield using a shield projector. But if you intercept the second wave of enemies, they will attack you and not the dormitory. So maybe focus on protecting your own ship. 
after the second wave is destroyed, you have to move the workers from the small dormitory. Just put them in the ore storage bin. <laughs> nah, nah, you can't do that. You have to put them in the spacious refuge to complete this encounter. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos about encounter quests. The links are in the description.